Enterprise GY has been sharing the secrets of success. In this episode, we're covering the sensitive issue of finance. From starting up to dealing with the bank, we've asked for advice from four of the region's most successful companies. Companies that all had to start somewhere. When you first start out, I think clearly the biggest obstacle is giving up a regular income that someone else provides to an income that you have to provide on your own. The doing the business was probably the easy bit. The scary bit was going home and telling the wife we were going to walk away from a very comfortable job with a good comfortable salary and a company car and give it all up to drive around in a very small minibus for six months until we could afford to buy another car. I was quite fortunate in that my wife at the time worked full time and our business plan based on deciding how much money I needed to earn on a weekly monthly basis to pay the bills. The banks aren't just going to lend to anybody for anything. You need a good plan, uh, expectations shouldn't be too high too soon. Uh, it, it just needs to be realistic, something that the bank can understand and, and support. And banks are an important part of business. How you handle them can have a profound effect on your success. It may well be that you have to borrow to live for the first six months, 12 months or whatever. So it's key to keep in touch with, with your bank. Um, I used the bank that I'd had all my personal bankings with all my life, so there was a relationship there already and it was quite easy tr to transition that across to the business. We find the bank are, are very flexible. Uh, if there's a problem, they know that we will tell them and we'll tell them early on. Uh, so because of that, they're, they're quite happy to work with us um, you know, when, when we're trying new or different avenues. I, I don't think in today's current economic climate it's important to be loyal to a bank. I think you need to shop about and get the best deal for you as a business that fits at that time. And don't be afraid to change at a later point during your business life. Growing a business can be just as fraught as setting one up. So why is it important to take that step and how? It is very easy um, as human beings and as, as, and as business people to think, well, I'm doing all right here, so I won't bother developing it. Um, and reinvesting. I think if you are in grave danger if you do not reinvest because before you know it you'll turn around you'll be living in a, in a very different marketplace with um, a different supply and demand and you'll be way behind the times. So it is, it is imperative that you keep ahead of the game constantly. I think the one piece of advice I missed when I set up originally was keep it small at the start, keep the overhead low and grow organically with your customer base. We do live in a very competitive world, so don't be afraid when someone comes to you with a product or a quote, go out there, see what else is around, and use your negotiating powers. I think good advice from professionals, such as solicitors, accountants, um, corporate advisors, uh, stands you in good stead for the future, and, and certainly mitigates a lot of the risks that you come out against in, in business. And, and certainly the cost outlay at the front end far outweighs the potential cost to the business in the long run. Financial advice. Well, as, as a woman from a fairly young age, you're told not to uh, overspend, aren't you? you? You do, it is imperative that you keep your eye on that original project, you know, projected budget figure. Um, and there are going to be, you know, to be uh, deviations within that. But you know, consult again your, your financial team around you, um, and it's very easy to let it ride. And before you know it, you are looking at a, a longer period in time to recoup that initial investment. So from a business point of view, it's very important that you keep focused on it. Running a business has its ups and downs. So is there anything else we should keep in mind? It's no good going to them once the horse has already bolted. You, you need to forewarn them and you know, the bank have got solutions. They can help, help companies get through problems. I, I think when times are hard, people need to manage their cash effectively. So daily management of cash flow. Chase your debts hard and don't be afraid, afraid to get on the phone and chase people. Uh, and secondly, stretch your suppliers. Um, ultimately, that's what everybody does in tough times. There was um, some suggestion or accusation that I was completely mad to invest vast amounts of money um, at an economic time that was, um, you know, to say the least, difficult. However, I have been in a very fortunate position, backed up by obviously the core business, um, in that I believe that if you 
if you're in that position to make that investment, you will be ready to embrace the marketplace and being an optimist, we will eventually recover from this. And finally, when it all goes right. I think when you've had a good time, then from my personal point of view, you should put a little bit aside for a rainy day and don't rush out and buy the new sports car. For more information on business support available to you, contact Enterprise GY or visit the website.